Right guys, it's exciting times for us Skytrack owners because the supposed all singing, all dancing GS Pro Golf Simulator software is now available for Skytrack. Now what I'm gonna to do today, I am going to download the GS Pro software and hopefully it will work. I haven't done this before, I'm doing it for the first time. And hopefully at the end of this video, there'll be a set of instructions for you guys to follow as well so that you can get involved and try out GS Pro. Right, I've got this set of instructions from um, the Golf Simulator Tours Discord. I think it's that one. Uh, I've only just joined it myself. So somebody has kindly put this set of instructions together. I'm just gonna turn it into video format. Um, I hope you don't think that I'm stealing it, but it's really helpful. So let's have a go. Right, step one, you need to download the Skytrack connection app. This is the magic that allows the Skytrack to tap into the GS Pro API. Let's go to this link, let's download that. Open a file. Okay, purchase GS Pro from their website at gsprogolf.com. So now you can go ahead and buy the GS Pro software from their website. Right, it's come out as 188 quid, which is $250. Let's see what happens here. Thank you for purchasing GS Pro. Check your email for installation instructions. Right, welcome to GS Pro. Right, once you get your email, underneath me on that picture there is my license key. You need to highlight that and copy it and follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the email. Right. Click that. Hopefully it'll start installing. It says this on the GS Pro YouTube channel. Um, if it comes up with that, just press more info and press run anyway. Right, welcome to the GS Pro setup wizard. GS Pro V1, it's good. Just me. Right, let's get installing. Come on, it's exciting. Best be good this software, you know. Best work. I hope I've got a powerful enough computer to run it. Right, one thing that I might be struggling with here is the GTX 1070 graphics card. I've only got a GTX 1650 Super. So I'm gonna see if it works. I'm gonna see if the graphics quality is good and it, it runs it fast enough for my computer. Um, if not, apparently you've got 14 days to cancel your subscription. Well, it's a seven day return policy, not 14 day return policy. If it doesn't work, then I'll just cancel it. I've got GS Pro here. Right, let's open that. Let's see how we get on now. Let's launch GS Pro. Everything that I've read online, people I've spoken to have all said that GS Pro is miles better than TGC, it's miles better than E6. Let's wait and see. Right, so let's just press play. Looks like you can change your graphic settings and stuff, which I'll probably need to do. Here we go. GS Pro, we're in. Right, this page is where you paste your license key that you copied from your email before. Looking promising, so far. Turn my Skytrack on. It's a good idea, it did say that, didn't it? Right, so there's GS Pro. Oh, look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Once you launch, there will be a pop-up for API version one connect. That's not done that. Oh, there we go, is that it? Oh, there we go. That's it. Right, now you need to find that first folder that you downloaded in step one. Open it and find an application called PG Sim Connector. There's two of these that look the same, but double press the one that's got the larger file size. Once you click on that, it'll open this slim window with an orange bar at the top. The two lights will stay red for a few seconds, but the top should turn green and the bottom one should turn orange. This appears to be a Skytrack connecting. At this point, you need to open the API connector. Now don't do what I did initially and click on the top right hand box. That was why I couldn't get the Skytrack to connect. Instead, open the bottom right corner box that says API V1 Control. This is the right one. This might be it. Might have been opening the wrong thing. Right, SIM Connect. Oh, we have a green line. We have a green line. Come on. <laughs> I was opening the wrong thing, man. Enjoy. Once the red bar turns green, which it has, 
Next, then you're ready to go. You'll need to go to settings menu and download some courses and configure some personal settings. So this about fucking get in. We're in. Come on. Right, that can stay over here. That's just got to be minimised and open. You can go down there. You're in. Right, let's go to settings. Right, input all your details and customise settings. I won't bore you with mine. And download some courses. That for a start. But we'll see. East Lake. Let's get East Lake. Save those. So I'm assuming they're downloading. Practice. Driving range. Course initialising. Well, it was a bit of a faff, wasn't it? Um, I had the set of instructions. Looks like we're in. I had that set of instructions. It was still a little bit of a faff. The instructions weren't perfectly clear. Um, just, just that little box, weren't it? That was all. Get my shoes on if I'm playing. Right, at this point I struggled as well. I went straight into hitting balls on the Skytrack and GS Pro driving range and the shots weren't registering, they weren't picking up even though the Skytrack green lights were on. So what I did, I shut down the Skytrack, I shut down the whole GS Pro software, I reloaded everything up and then we were good to go. Right, let's see if we can work this time. Just come out of the practice range, come on back in it. Yes, we've got it. Ha <laughs> ha, we're in. Skytrack and GS Pro is working. Be good. That's all, is it? A bit of backspin, even a bit of backspin. I like it, I like it a lot. These graphics are set to ultra and my graphics card is running it. There's a little bit of a delay uh, between the shots, probably maybe an extra second compared to playing on TGC. Um, that I'm assuming that's just because GS Pro uses a lot more graphics. Uh, but hopefully this video has helped you or will help you download GS Pro for your Skytrack and stay tuned for more videos about the GS Pro.